Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about a review of RR Institute of Technology and lot of you have you know requested me to review this college so that you can take a decision to apply or not. So they have a lot of colleges in the group of engineering, architecture, pharmacy, poly polytechnic, management and all. But I am going only to review RR Institute of Technology which is the engineering college, right? So talk about the, you know, about the college, facilities, departments, kind of co curricular act activities, uh, the events, the admission process and the placement part of it. So about the college, RR Institute of Technology, this started in 2008. So almost, you know, 10 to 11 batches have already passed from this college. <clears throat> in terms of infrastructure, it is a decent 27 acre campus and there are 6 engineering branches with the total intake of 480 seats. And it has already, you know, a NAC accredited college and uh, it has uh, been you know, accredited by the NBA. And this is the college uh, location or address. It's located in Hesargata Main Road or the Chicken Bar Banavara you know, area of Bangalore. And this is the admission contact number of, you know, college with respect to their email ID and the phone number. Now, in terms of the infrastructure, unique features is a, it's a quite a spacious college in 27 acres. It, it provides for state-of-art computer labs, you know, your ICT-enabled classrooms, Wi-Fi campus, digital library, you know, vibrant campus. And I will show some of the images there later. And uh, it also has a spacious playgrounds, you know. And apart from that, you have a yoga and meditation club. And they also provide a strong uh, academic interface with industry. So some more like, a, you know, parking area, being a bank and ATMs. And, you know, on the campus, they have a hospital and you know also they have a bus facility for students who is staying out in uh, out of you know hostel and uh, they have auditorium part of the campus and so here is a short tour of the campus <music> And now coming to the courses part of it, so it takes, uh, it has admission process for computer science engineering, for you know information science engineering, and now they started artificial intelligence and machine learning. So three branches of IT, and they have ECE branch, electronics and communication, electrical, triple E, civil and mechanical engineering. Plus the add-on courses they offer are towards the area of big data and the IoT, and these are you know extra subjects which you can add to any of these uh, IT branches. So college has provided this information that there are some of the companies which visit the campus are like a, a Wipro, Accenture, HP, Toyota uh, and uh, you know some all of these companies but none of them are the mass recruiter. Mostly they recruit four to five students from uh, each of the you know uh, specialization areas. So those are the very high level and not every company will come every year and it's a mix of all the companies which came over the years. So I have taken uh, information from the NIRF data which they submit to for the NBA accreditation. So there are three three years performance. So if you see here last year now about 100, 127 students were eligible and out of which 104 were placed with the median salary of 425. Past year also around 150 students got placed with the median of 3.5 lakhs and before that year 108 students got placed with the median salary of 3.5 lakhs. So median salary is increasing to the extent of 4.25 lakhs. 
so maximum 150 students have got placed in any year so my suggestion is only to take computer science and information science branches in this college that's all and don't take any other branch and this is a vibrant college with a lot of good events and activities so students who are looking for similar environments can go for this college so that's all i have to cover thank you for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on any other college